Did you know that badgers, otters, and even creatures as small as weasels all belong to the same family? It's known as mustelids, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about the mustelids that live here in the UK. And where better to start than with the UK's smallest, in fact, the smallest mustelid in the world, the weasel. These measure a maximum of 26 centimetres from the tip of their nose to the end of their tails, with males being stockier and heavier than females. Males can weigh up to 250 grams, whereas females will only grow to around 120. Weasels are extremely fast and use their agility to catch their prey, which is mostly small rodents such as mice and voles, although they will also eat small birds and their eggs. Weasels are found over most of Britain, but are absent from Northern Ireland, unlike their cousin, the stoat. These two species are very similar, and are often mistaken for one another, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison to show their differences. The main way to separate them is from their tails, which are longer and have a black tip in stoats, but short and brown in weasels. In stoats, the border between their brown fur and light undersides is straight, compared to in weasels, where it is wonky. Stoats are also a little bit larger, measuring up to 45cm in length, with males weighing 200 to 445 grams, and females 140 to 280 grams. Stoats are brilliant predators, and will tackle prey much larger than themselves, including rabbits, which can be more than five times their weight. They will also eat birds, eggs, small mammals, some fruits, and even earthworms if food is in short supply. In some parts of their range, stoats can turn most of their fur white in winter, when they are often referred to as ermines. Both stoats and weasels are native to the UK, but the American mink is not. This species was brought here to be farmed for its fur, but some escaped and many more were deliberately released, and they soon colonised the wild. American mink have an average size of around 55 centimetres, but some males can be noticeably larger than this. Their fur is usually dark brown or black, with small patches of white under their chin, down their throats, and along their undersides. Unfortunately, they are persistent predators, and as they are often found along waterways, they can predate some of our native species to near extinction, including the water vole. They will also eat birds and fish, and are very capable swimmers, meaning they sometimes get confused with otters. I'll show you the differences between these two shortly. But before then, I have a couple of other native mustelids to talk about, including the European polecat. In the period up to 1915, this species was persecuted to a point where they were extinct from England and only found in a small part of Scotland and Wales. However, they have since made a remarkable recovery and are now found over most of lowland Britain. You might be looking at this animal and thinking it reminds you of a domestic ferret, and that is for good reason. It's thought that polecats are their ancestors, and there have been many cases of escaped ferrets successfully breeding with their wild counterparts. Truly wild polecats measure between 45 and 65 centimetres. They have black fur with a lighter undercoat and a defined black band across their faces. They can be found in a variety of habitats, including farmland and deciduous woodland, where they prey on rabbits, rats and even amphibians. Polecats aren't the only mustelid that is making a comeback. The same is true for pine martins, although they've had a bit of help from people. Around a hundred years ago, pine martins were extinct in England and Wales, with only a small population remaining in northern Scotland. As a result of legal protection, they have gradually spread from here and are now found all across Scotland and even into the northern counties of England. They have been reintroduced to Wales, and as a result of an unlicensed reintroduction, they are also now found in the New Forest. 
There are currently a couple of other licensed reintroductions underway, and Pine Martins are fairly widespread over Northern Ireland. They're about the same size as a cat, measuring between 64 and 81 centimeters, which includes their long fluffy tail. Their fur is dark brown, and they have a creamy yellow throat patch. Pine Martins are generalist predators, and will often climb trees to find their prey, which includes small mammals, eggs, birds and beetles. They will also eat fungi, and during the autumn, a lot of their diet is made up of berries. From a mustelid that is at home in the trees, to one that is almost always found in or around water, the Eurasian Otter. This species almost went extinct here in the 1970s, but has recovered and is now found in every county in the UK. Sometimes, people mistakenly identify otters along the coast as sea otters, but they are in fact the same species. True sea otters are not found in the UK and live in North America, Eastern Russia and East Asia. I said earlier that I would show you the differences between mink and otters, so here they are side by side. Notice how the tail of an otter is long and tapered to a point, compared to the mink's club-shaped tail. Otters also lack the white chin patch and have silver-looking fur along their undersides. Otters are also significantly larger, growing to up to 135 centimeters in length and to more than 6 kilos in weight. I always get a bit of stick when I mention otters in my videos, as it's quite obvious that I love seeing them, but I want to make it very clear. They might look cute, but they are definitely not cuddly. They are the dominant predator in most freshwater systems and will eat anything that they are able to catch and overpower. This is mostly fish, but they will also eat birds up to the size of geese, small mammals and other aquatic creatures. Another mustelid which will sometimes eat things that people don't expect it to is the European badger. These are the largest land carnivore in the UK and although they often eat beetles, worms, berries and fruits, they will also eat ground nesting birds, their eggs and they are one of the only predators of hedgehogs. Unlike the other mustelids I've featured so far, badgers live communally in family groups known as clans. They live in underground burrows known as sets and up to 23 of them have been recorded living together, although it's usually groups of 5 to 8. Badgers have characteristic black and white striped faces and short tails. They are less athletic than their other mustelid cousins and grow to 115 centimeters long and up to 12 kilos in weight. And that's all of the mustelids of the UK. Let me know in the comments down below which animal groups you'd like to see me cover in future videos. If you did enjoy this video then you probably will like this one here with the owls of the UK. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.